Well, I'm really excited about 2020. I believe that God gave me a, a word fresh from heaven at the time of making this recording. So the scripture that God gave me is Isaiah 66, 8. Who has ever seen anything as strange as this? Who ever heard of such a thing? Has a nation ever been born in a single day? Has a country ever come forth in a mere moment? But by the time Jerusalem's birth pangs began, her children were born. And I believe that God speaking to us. He's speaking to Jerusalem, but everything that here in the word is pertaining to us as well. And I believe that right now there's a birthing taking place in heaven, in many areas, for our country, for our church, and in your own personal lives. Now, what is the number? We're going into 2020. And the interesting part about the number 20, it symbolizes a cycle of completeness. It's this often connected to a period of waiting, a labor or suffering that's compared to a trial and it is rewarded. Jacob worked, waited for 20 years to get his wives and property and to re be released from his father-in-law. In for that's an example of what I'm speaking about. And um, you know what, it's the enemy's plan to wear us out by the struggles of life. Life happens and uh, the Lord's seen your struggles, your disappointments. And just when you feel like you are winning, you, something happens and it's you like you, everything's delayed. You don't experience uh, the reward and you have to start all over again. But I believe that we as a church, you as in your business and in your personal life are going to see the God of the suddenlies start to uh, come through for you. And I feel like you're going to be saying these words, wow, wow God, this could only be you. And um, at this point, uh, this morning, in the last two days, I've been saying that uh, and uh, we'll release those things for you. But I know it's a wow God time. This could only be you. And um, it's a time when the wealth of the wicked uh, uh, will be released to work on behalf of the righteous. It's also the time when you must see that your vision is plainly written and plainly set out. Your vision for your personal life, your personal growth, for your family, uh, your vision for your business. Don't give the devil any room. Give him no room by doing life and business without disciplined integrity. Um, and, uh, and faith in God because the enemy is he's going around. He's going around like a roaring lion with one purpose. He's seeking those who he can destroy. He can't destroy everybody. He only can destroy those that give him room. And so don't let your guard down. Uh, do life with discipline. Don't give your, uh, the enemy reason to kill your vision, your dreams, steal your dreams and destroy everything that could have been so very different for you. Habakkuk 2.2 2 says this, Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. You know what? When you write your vision, uh, all of heaven sees it. The angels are released to go and work on your behalf. And I believe that as you do these things, 2020 is going to be your best year yet. And you're going to see things just escalate for you. God bless you. I look forward to 2020.